नमस्कार आप सभी का बहुत बहुत स्वागत है आप देख रहे हैं हमारा ये लाइव इंटरेक्शन ऑन पी एम ई विद्या चैनल नंबर ट्वेल्व आप सभी का स्वागत करती हूँ मैं रेणु भट्ट अपने इस लाइव इंटरेक्शन में जो हम लेकर आए हैं टीचिंग लर्निंग इंटरवेंशन फॉर इंक्लूसिव क्लासरूम्स पर जहाँ पर हम अपनी समझ का दायरा बढ़ाते हैं इंक्लूसिव क्लासरूम्स के प्रति यानी कि समावेशी कक्षा के प्रति और जैसे कि आपको टेलीविजन स्क्रीन पर नजर आ रहे हैं मेरे साथ मेरे साइन लैंग्वेज इंटरप्रेटर चलिए उनका भी स्वागत करते हैं उनसे परिचय लेते हैं आप हैं श्री अनिकेत पांडा अनिकेत आपका बहुत बहुत स्वागत है अपने सभी देखने वालों को हम बताएंगे कि आज हम इस सेशन में बात करने वाले हैं ट्वेल्थ स्टैंडर्ड के अकाउंटेंसी के स्टूडेंट्स के लिए और उनके लिए हमारा आज का टॉपिक है रिकन्स्टिट्यूशन ऑफ पार्टनरशिप फॉर्म रिटायरमेंट एंड डेथ ऑफ अ पार्टनर और किस तरह से ये सब चीज़ें हैंडल की जा सकती हैं हमारे एक्सपर्ट आपको बताएंगी और हमारे साथ स्टूडियो में जुड़ चुके हैं हमारे एक्सपर्ट्स लेट्स मीट हर यू आर मिसिज अलका शर्मा यू आर रिटायर्ड पीजीटी कॉमर्स फ्रॉम कुलाची हंसराज मॉडल स्कूल अशोक विहार दिल्ली वेरी वॉम वेलकम मैम नमस्कार एंड गुड मॉर्निंग टू ईच एंड एवरी स्टूडेंट एंड टूडे वी विल स्टार्ट विद द रिकॉन्स्टिट्यूशन ऑफ पार्टनरशिप फॉर्म Right, uh, ma'am. Before we start this particular session, let me share some certain information to all the viewers and learners in case they have any query related to this particular topic. आप हमसे जुड़ सकते हैं हमारे विभिन्न माध्यमों के द्वारा. आप हमें कॉल कर सकते हैं हमारे टेलीफोन नंबर पर जो है डबल एट डबल जीरो डबल फोर जीरो डबल फाइव नाइन. Either you can drop a mail as well. हमारा ईमेल एड्रेस है dth. dot class twelfth at the rate cit. dot nic. dot in. and we are expecting your participation in this live interaction so without any further delay let's move towards our expert ma'am jaise humne bataya apne sabhi viewers ko bachcho ko ki aaj hum baat karne wale hain reconstitution of a partnership firm retirement and death of a partner to kya yes. kuch special hai aapke paas ma'am hamare sabhi bachcho ke liye students ke liye sabse pehle to agar aapko yaad hoga hum logon ne admission of a partner kiya tha और उस टाइम हमने बात किया था रिकॉन्स्टिट्यूशन ऑफ पार्टनरशिप फॉर्म रिकॉन्स्टिट्यूशन मीन्स चेंज इन पार्टनरशिप एग्रीमेंट वेन एवर देयर इज चेंज इन पार्टनरशिप एग्रीमेंट देयर विल बी कैलकुलेशन ऑफ वेरियस थिंग्स एंड टुडे वी विल जस्ट एम्फोसाइज ऑन दीज थिंग्स सो नाउ जस्ट सी यू कैन सी द फर्स्ट स्लाइड That is, do you find any difference on yes. left hand side and right hand side? Yes, ma'am. We can easily figure out. Tarun is missing in second picture, ma'am. So now, what could be the reason for this, Tarun? Ma'am, Shahid, who retired, ho gaye hain. Yes, that is a good point. That is, he is he has retired from the firm. Now, what he will be thinking about the amounts that he should get from the firm? Hmm. That is, see this. Hmm. First of all, we will just think of the capital balance. Means, उसका जितना capital balance firm में उसने invest किया है, वो चीज़. उसके साथ साथ share of revaluation, his share of revaluation account. Similarly, share of reserves and surplus, and his share of goodwill and as well as the current account balance. He will get all these things. Now you just remember. I think you must be in a position to remember the admission adjustments. Hmm. And at that time we pass these adjustments. See this adjustments to be made at the time of retirement. Now we will emphasize on retirement of firm partner. First is your calculation of new profit sharing ratio and gaining ratio. Hmm. Ma'am, here we would like to know more about gaining ratio, ma'am. What exactly it is? Actually, gaining ratio is the share with which the remaining partners have gained, or the continuing partners have gained, or in other words, we can say the share which they have acquired from the outgoing partner. That is the meaning of your gaining ratio. Now, then after this, we will. then after this we will think of valuation and accounting treatment of goodwill then revaluation of assets and liabilities distribution of reserves and surplus determination and payment of amount payable to retiring partner and then the capital adjustment of remaining partners if any now just see this thing 
as just now I told you gaining ratio hmm. and you can just see gaining ratio is the ratio in which the continuing partners have acquired the share from the retiring partner. In other words, we can say gaining ratio is the difference between new profit sharing ratio and the old profit sharing ratio. Now, why do we calculate gaining ratio? The purpose is that because since the, the partner is retiring from the firm, so he will get some compensation from the other partners or the, we can say the gainers, this particular thing. Now, in this situation again we will just see the first important adjustment. Can you see this? Yes, Calculation of new profit sharing ratio and gaining ratio. In this the first situation could be when a partner retires and the new ratio of remaining partners is not given. I am giving you one simple example. Suppose all of all three are partners means me, Aniket and uh, Arushi are partners and I retire from the firm or I leave the firm and nothing is mentioned about your ratio. Then you will just share the profits and the losses among the ratio in which you were sharing earlier. I hope this is clear. Hmm. Yes ma'am. Now we will just do one activity that is see this, Arun, Barun, Tarun are partners sharing profits in the ratio of 4 is to 3 is to 1. We have to find out the new profit sharing ratio of remaining partners if Barun retires. Now, we will just do this activity right now, see this. Arun, Barun and Tarun. In which ratio they were sharing earlier? Four, 4 is, is to two, 3 two. is to 1. Now, we will just take this the, for explaining this particular thing we will just take the this thing 4 for Arun, 3 for Barun and 1 for Tarun. I hmm. hope this is clear. Hmm. Now, who is retiring from the firm? Tarun. No. See this? Barun is retiring okay. first. Hmm. Now, again we assume ki that we are having 8 th toffees. Now, leave this. Now, since Barun is retiring, hmm. so the remaining partners will continue to share in their proportion that is 4 is to 1. Hmm. This is the thing. Now, this is our we can say new profit sharing ratio and again the gaining ratio will be 4 is to 1. Is this clear? Yes, ma'am. Now, then the second situation could be calculation of new profit sharing ratio and gaining ratios. What is the second situation? Just see, when remaining partners take retiring partners share in an agreed ratio. See this thing again. Now, how do we calculate new profit sharing ratio? New profit sharing ratio is equal to their old profit sharing ratio plus share acquired, share acquired. This is the new profit sharing ratio. Now, for this again we will take one example or we can just take one activity. See this, Arun, Barun, Tarun are partners sharing profits in the ratio of 4 is to 3 is to 1. We have to find out the new profit sharing ratio of remaining partners if Tarun retires and his share is taken up by Arun and Barun in the ratio of 2 is to 1. Again see this particular thing Arun Barun 
and Tarun. They were sharing in this ratio 4 is to 3 is to 1. Who is retiring? Tarun. Tarun. So, now his share, what was his share? 1 by 8. Hmm. And of 1 by 8, 2 third is being taken by Arun and by Barun. 1 by 8, uska sh his share into 1 by 3. That is this share, when we calculate 1 by 8 into 2 by 3, this is known as the gaining ratio of Arun and this will be added to his old ratio. Now, we will just solve this for Arun. See this, for Arun his old share 4 by 8 plus now solve this 1 by 8 into 2 by 3 simply multiply that is 2 by 24 and for Barun it will be 3 by 8 plus 1 by 24 like this we will calculate the new profit sharing ratio. Now you just take the LCM 24. 8 3s are 24 and 3 into 4 that is 12 plus 2 that is 14 by 24 will be new profit sharing ratio for Arun and for Varun it will be 24 that is 9 plus 1 10 by 24. So, in second situation we can say that for Arun it will be 14 by 24 and for Barun it will be 10 by 24. Simple words 14 is to 10 is the new profit sharing ratio of Ar Arun and Barun. I hope this is clear. Any yes, doubt here? Please ma'am. Then now third case may be it may be possible in this situation we are simply given the old profit sharing ratio al along with the new profit sharing ratio. Then we will simply calculate find out the difference between new profit sharing ratio and the old profit sharing ratio simple. Again for this thing simple example activity could be we can say that is for Arun, his old share is 3 by, for Arun this his old share is 4 by 8 and his new share is 7 by 12. For, sorry, Barun has retired, Tar, Arun has retired, so we will take this. And for this Tarun, it will be 5 by 12 minus 1 by 8. Like this, we will calculate the gaining ratio. Now, can you just, I hope this is clear? Yes, ma'am. Now, then next is your next adjustment is valuation and accounting treatment of goodwill. I hope you, you are familiar with the accounting treatment of goodwill or not. Are you aware or not? Just recollect admission of a partner. At that time we discussed this particular thing. So, now here again the entry will be for there will be two entries. First entry will be gaining partner's capital account debit to retiring partner's capital account and this will be in gaining ratio means now here the gainers will compensate to the retiring partner in their gaining ratio. Sometimes it may be possible that goodwill may be appearing in the books. Then we have to write off that goodwill among all partners in their profit sharing ratio. See the next 
the adjustment to be made again this is very important adjustment please remember this thing now revaluation of assets and reassessment of liabilities accounting treatment is just like admission of a partner and we are familiar with this next is distribution of reserves and accumulated profits and losses again i will say that we have discussed this adjustments at the time of admission of a partner since general reserve belong to all the partners so it will be transferred among all the partners in their old profit sharing ratio now imagine in case if there is a loss in this situation this loss will be transferred or this loss will be will be borne by all the partners including the outgoing partner that is the retiring partner though it could be possible that the retiring partner may say no main kyun bear karu mujhe wo to chala gaya firm se but in this situation just remember the con continuing partners will say no you will have to bear this loss also then the next is your determination and amount payment to retiring partner for this thing we have to prepare the retiring partners capital account and the payment is to be made to retiring partner if it is given that the payment is to is to be made immediately in case if there is no information regarding payment then this amount will be transferred to his loan account and this loan account will be shown on the liabilities side of the balance sheet since now it, it is a liability for the firm so interest will be paid at the rate of 6% per annum then activity again simple thing now just we will just take one particular thing and now how how to prepare the find out the amount payable to retiring partner arun barun tarun are partners sharing profits in the ratio of 4 is to 3 is to 1 arun retires gaining ratio of barun and tarun is 1 is to 1 his capital balance at the time of retirement was 80000 general reserve of 8000 appeared in the books gain on revaluation of assets amounted to rupees 4000 goodwill of the firm was valued 16000 we have to prepare arun's capital account since here the specific requirement is that we have to prepare arun's capital account so we will just do the like this see this first of all his capital balance just recollect the earlier things just we have discussed capital balance his capital balance is 80000 and again his share of general reserve gen his share of general reserve is 4000 and his share of goodwill is 8000 this 8000 will be compensated by the remaining partners that is barun and tarun in their gaining ratio please remember one thing they are gaining ratio is very important and then after this his share of revaluation since there is a gain on revaluation so it will be transferred to credit side of his account since no information is given so this will be transferred to his loan account as 94000 and this will be shown on the liability side of the balance sheet after this death of a partner just remember all the adjustments are just like re retirement of a partner with two basic differences the first is that we have to find out his share up to the date of death another is payment to deceased partner deceased partners executors 
then for profit we say that their the profit will be profit will be either on the basis of time or on the basis of turnover and this profit is estimated profit. So, we have to transfer this profit or we will just use profit and loss suspense account. Remember one thing profit and so loss suspense account is to be used in case of death of our partner. Since this is estimated profit, so it will be used this account will have to be used and after this we will find out the prepare the deceased partner's capital account and after this this will be transferred to his ex executor's account. I hope this is clear. Hmm. Do you have any query? No ma'am till not now. Can we move further ma'am? I think now the keywords. Okay. So, dear learners and viewers, as you can see, we are having our keywords as usual. We have three keywords for this session. Our first keyword is gaining ratio. Our second keyword is retirement and death. Our third keyword is executive's account. So, ma'am, you must be having homework for yes, our learners, right? Yes. Please explain to them, ma'am. See this homework first of all, what is gaining ratio? Just now we have discussed what is gaining ratio. This is the ratio or this is the difference between new profit sharing ratio and the old profit sharing ratio. Second is why the firm revalues assets and reassess liabilities at the time of retirement. We say that sometimes, sometimes it may be possible that the firm may decide to revalue its assets or there could be the difference between present value of the sum of, sum of the assets and their book value. So, in this situation we will have to revalue similarly liabilities will also have to be reassessed. For example, it may be possible there may be some outstanding salaries which we were supposed to pay and in case if we say that now this amount is not sufficient. So, we will have to just increase this amount. So, we have to reassess the liabilities so that we can find out the actual profit or gain on revaluation of assets and liabilities. After this, just one or another thing past journal entries if there is increase in value of building by one by rupees 10,000. Now, just remember building is your asset and there is increase in the value of building. So, this will result to gain to the firm. So, the simple journal entry will be building account debit to revaluation account by rupees 10,000. Next is state the purpose of profit and loss suspense account means why do we prepare profit and loss suspense account? Simple, just to find out the deceased partner's share of profit up to his date of death. Ma'am, you must be having more modified homework as well. See this, modified homework, gaining ratio, first is gaining ratio is the difference between dash profit sharing ratio and dash profit ratio. Now, what could we just find out? We have just to calculated. Simple we can say this is the difference between new profit sharing ratio and the old profit sharing ratio. Just we have to write only these two words new and old. After this next is Nandan Chandan Mandan are partners sharing profits in the ratio of 3 is to 2 is to 1 Chandan retires Nandan and Madan would share profits in the ratio of 1 is to 1, 2 is to 1, 3 is to 2 or 1 is to 2. Out of these 4 options which is a cor correct option and this is just based on first situation remember. 
So, the here the answer will be we can say see this who is retiring. Ma'am, what we can do is ki answers hum apne students ke liye chhod dete. ठीक है. Ma'am, uh, rest questions hum discuss kar lete ma'am. Yes. Please remember one thing. Another is your Nanda. Sorry, interest payable on retiring partners loan will be at the rate six percent, six percent per annum, market rate or bank rate. This rate, interest rate, has been specified in Indian Partnership Act. Remember this thing. There is one particular section which clearly states at what rate. The retiring partner's loan interest will be paid. After this, the next is Nanda, Mukund, and Madan are partners sharing profits in the ratio of 3 is to 2 is to 1. Madan retires 3 months after closing of account books. His share of profit is 40,000. This would be debited to Dash. Which account will be debited here? Just now, we say that we know this particular thing and for this the answer is profit and loss suspense account, this particular thing. Anything else? Ma'am, next slide please. So, dear learner, that was the modified homework and you need to send this homework in this particular format. First, you have to write your name, then you have to write your class, then your school name and address. Then today's expert's name, session's date and your photograph that is completely optional. And you have homework to send us our email address which is dth.class12 at the rate cit.nic.in and we are expecting your participation and your homework and now we are not giving us the opportunity to move forward. We have to wrap up this session here only but before that let me Thank our expert Alka ma'am, aap studio aay, thank you so very much. Thank you. Aur aap ne itne achche se humare sabhi students ko is particular topic ke baare mein chan kari di, aapka bhoat bhoat dhanne baad. Aur is se pehle ki hum is satr ko yaha par wind up kare, aniket aapka bhi bhoat bhoat dhanne baad. Ek bhoat saruri suchna aap sabhi ke saath hum share karna chahenge regarding NCERT's textbooks. NCERT textbooks for the academic year 2023-24 are available throughout the country and these textbooks may be purchased directly from NCERT sales counters located at New Delhi, Ahmedabad, Bangalore, Kolkata and Guwahati. These sales counters will be functional on all the weekdays including all the gadgeted holidays, Saturdays and Sundays as well. You may also place order for the books online from our website that is ncertbooks.ncert.gov.in and these books will be delivered at your doorsteps with no delivery fees. And if you want the soft copy of all those books in PDF version, it can also be downloaded online for free from NCERT, Diksha, e website and from our mobile app as well. We would request you to visit our website that is ncert.nic.in to know more about the authorized vendors. With that note, me Renu Bhatt is uh, taking your leave. Aap bane rahiye e channel or ncert official YouTube channel par. Namaskar.